astronaut in astronauts inside the crew dragon. You saying David Saint Jacques on the left in the middle, NASA's Anne McLean, and on the right the commander of Expedition fifty eight, Oleg Kononenko of Roscosmos. In the middle is the zero G indicator that uh, was actually flown up on the Crew Dragon after launch and uh, entering into an orbit uh, on its way to the International Space Station. The zero G indicator, uh, which they are holding now, uh, actually floated up, basically indicating when they were in zero G or microgravity environment and ready to begin its next steps towards uh, flying towards the International Space Station. That zero-g indicator is scheduled to remain on board the International Space Station while the Crew Dragon um, will depart uh, tomorrow morning. Commander Oleg Kononenko exiting the vehicle, returning to the International Space Station. David St. Jacques and Anne McLean enjoying these final moments before they close the hatch to the vehicle, where it will remain docked to the International Space Station for the next 14 hours until undocking tomorrow morning, uh, Central and Eastern Time. And McLean the second outside the vehicle, David St. Jacques bringing up the rear. He the first uh, crew member to enter Crew Dragon aboard the space station. David St. Jacques initiating the command to officially close the hatch of the SpaceX Crew Dragon. This is the beginning end of the end for the Crew Dragon on its Demo 1 mission.
And with that, the hatch, the hatch of the SpaceX Crew Dragon is closed. Hatch closed at 11.39 a.m. Central Time, 11.39 p.m. Eastern. The space station at the time was 253 statute miles over the Pacific Ocean, just west off the coast of Mexico.